Welcome to The Business End, your online place for all things computer related. Hi and welcome to The Business End. My name is Anthony and I have approximately 15 to 20 years experience running a small chain of computer repair shops in Bristol. Today I want to show you how to speed up your Windows 7 PC in under 10 minutes. The inspiration for this video is that I've had Windows 7 Pro running on a computer for the last 12 years and it was really starting to take ages to, to boot up and sometimes glitch in. And I'm, I'm unable to do a fresh install as there is software tied to this machine. Well, I could do a fresh installation and contact the companies to retrieve my licenses or I could manually extract the licenses from the machine then do a fresh install. And maybe that will be the subject of a future video basically on how to retrieve license keys installed on your PC. Comment below if you would like to see one of these videos made. So today, what I'm about to show you are four very easy steps to get your machine running much faster than it was before. And if you need to, you can do this approximately every four to six weeks to maintain, maintain top performance of your machine. I'll quickly run through the four parts of the process so you're not going in blind and at least have some idea of what you're doing and then I'll explain as we go along whilst we're doing them. So right, so the four parts in a nutshell are part one is changing the performance settings in Windows, part two is deleting the overall temp files, part three deleting the user temp files and part four deleting the prefetch files and if you stick around to the end of the video I'll show you how to clear all duplicate files like DLL files and leftover installation files that also help to slow down your machine and all this is done with a free to use software which I'll show you at the end. Part one is about changing the performance settings in the operating system. By default Windows has all the buttons checked in these settings which is mainly related to the look and feel of the operating system. The only problem here is that this can really slow down your machine. Right okay so click on the start button and then click on control panel and then click on system and security then click system then click the advanced system settings now you want the settings in performance I've already done this but its default is let Windows choose what's best for you and it ticks all of these uh, which this helps slow the machine down now if you click on adjust for best performance and in my case I've ticked on show thumbnails because I want to see my images then uh, once you've done that and have a look to see if there's anything else you want click apply click OK now generally it will take when the first time I did this it took about a minute for it to do but since I've done it before it's happened quite quickly but that's all you need to do to get the biggest gains in your system once it's done have a look have a look around to see whether you like how it looks and if that's fine we can move on to the next next thing part two just a quick note here once you have completed part one always know that if if there are parts you are unhappy with 
like for example your system will no longer have that 3d fuller look about it it will look quite flat but just know that you can always follow the same okay so part two is to delete the temp files this is a very quick process very easy process and all the the moves that you've done on there are reversible but you shouldn't have a problem okay part two so click on the start bar and right okay i've already got this up here but what we want to do is remove this and type in temp that will give you the temp folder now normally this will have a lot more files but i've done this earlier so then you just click delete click on do this for all current files and then press for it to skip and it will just remove all the files and that's it that's how easy that is Part three, deleting the user temp files. So it's pretty much the same process, but this time you do the you type in the percentage sign, then temp T E M P, and then the percentage sign again, and that will give you the user temp files. And you do the same thing. Go in, highlight, delete, skip on ones that it won't. See these files left there, you cannot delete those. Just a quick note on part two, three and four, is that the system won't allow you to delete files that it needs to keep for the machine to run. So you don't have, you shouldn't have any fear about deleting this, these files and thinking, oh my machine may not run again because it won't allow you to delete files that, that it needs specifically to run it would only allow you to delete files that it doesn't need and these files you don't need these just slow the machine up so now part four and what you can see what you should see here now is that it's pretty much a pattern for part two and three is that you press the start button and then open up the dialog box and in this time we type in prefetch which is p-r-e-t-e-t-c-h open up this box and then just you can just control a and delete and that will delete all the files that are in this folder which just they're there unnecessarily they've been used and they're finished and that is how quickly that is done right now on to the bonus part this software is C cleaner I've been using it for about 10 years it it's really good for removing unwanted installation files and build files like as I said in the beginning uh, it's completely free. It has a pro version, but what we're focusing on the, is on the free version, which will do all the things that you need. It has other uh, applications on it. It's worth downloading and checking it out. You can download. The link will be in the description. It's, they're not. I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, it's just the free software that we use. So, um, without further ado, let's get on to the last part. Right, okay, so how to use CCleaner in order to remove the files. So you click on the, uh, the icon once you've downloaded it. You can download it from, uh, just Google it and uh, download the free version. As I said, it's a completely free uh, software and uh, it has different applications like the health check but I'm not going to use that now what I want to focus on is the registry but 
if you want to do the health check, it will go to a certain point and then it will ask you if you want to go pro to do the rest. But I've just got the free version. I've always used the free version. It gives you the option to download Chrome. Uh, and if you want to, you can. If you've already got it, you won't already you won't need it. Uh, but I use Firefox, so I click the decline, and then what I want to do is go into the registry, which is here, and then click scan. Now, once it's scanning, you will see on the left hand side it shows you all the files that it's looking for. Once it's got that, I click to uh, to review it and then I remove it. Now I do this three times generally so that all the files, I know that all the files are removed and sometimes it takes two to three goes to do it. So once I've done it and then there's there's no files, there's no files on the scan, then that's it. It's, it's completed, it's removed it's looked for and found all the files that are on the side there and then that's it uh, i then close and then go about my business right so hopefully what we have achieved today is to change the performance settings on the operating system remove the temp files for both the user and the system empty the prefetch folder and finally downloaded CCleaner and removed any unwanted registry files and at the end we should have a much faster and smoother running operating system. If you have any questions or unsure of anything in this video please just comment below and I will reply as soon as I can. My next video is probably going to be the ultimate Windows 7 cleanup and speed up for beginners. All you have to do is click the subscribe button and also click the notification button and you'll be updated as soon as it's released. So, thank you for watching right to the end. Sorry the video was a bit long, but I wanted to get in as much as, a, as I could because I've seen quite a few videos and coming from a back tech background, a lot of these videos miss out quite a bit and sometimes those bits can be very important. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.